Hey guys, I'm out here at Balboa Beach in uh, Orange County, here in front of this Ferris wheel. And I want to talk to you today about how to achieve your most ambitious goals. Now, self-improvement and fulfillment of all of my wishes has been like just a constant thing for me. I, you know, I've I've done a lot of things in my life. I've been featured on magazines. I've started a couple, multiple multi-million dollar businesses. And it's been because of basically overcoming my mental roadblocks. We all have to achieve your goals. We all have mental obstacles that keep us from achieving our goals. We have patterns. Every human is like in a pattern. I don't know how, and the first step to overcoming your patterns is one is recognizing them. All of us have these life patterns where we have our highs and we have our lows. And most of us keep doing the same cycle. Maybe it's in your relationships. You notice you always seem to go for a certain type of man or a certain type of woman. And you'll have a great relationship for a little bit and then maybe you know problems arise and you dump them and you many of us repeat the same patterns over and over and over again whether it's in our relationships whether it's in our careers where we get a job and we think it's great and then we get bored or we hate our boss or we hate our coworkers, and then we find a new job where we like our boss and we like our coworkers, and then as time goes on, you begin to have the same resentment. So the first step is recognizing it, and it's moving from unconscious, what I call unconscious incompetence, to conscious incompetence, being conscious of the problem, being conscious of the pattern. Step two is making a decision and moving forward to, from conscious incompetence where you recognize a problem is happening to where you are addressing the problem, where you are consciously competent is what I call it. Meaning you're, you have to think, you have to be conscious and you can solve the problem. So if you understand, you will always end up in a certain sort of relationship. You go out of your way to date somebody who fits a different criteria, or you go out of your way to fit, you know, to find somebody who doesn't get angry all the time. Maybe that's the problem. Or maybe you always find jobs where your boss is really outgoing and you love that, but it ends up being a horrible job or whatever that is go out of your way to find something different. And then the third step is moving from conscious competence to unconscious competence. And unconscious competence means you can be, you can build a skill or you can do well in your relationships, you can do well in your job or your whatever you're doing without even thinking. And the only way this comes is from constant constant experience, lots of experience and constant self-improvement. When you've, when you've been conscious of your relationship, how are you acting? How are you reacting to your partner in a relationship? Are you learning what it models for successful relationships? Or if it's in your job, are you learning how to do better in your job? And are you being conscious of it? long enough until you get you those 10,000 hours in and you can do anything you want. So if you guys like the video, like, subscribe, comment, hit that like button, boom, boom, boom. Uh, you guys don't have to hit the like button, but uh, basically subscribe and let me know what you guys' thoughts are, if this was helpful, if this taught you a little bit about working for yourself, if this taught helps you achieve your goals. Let me know in the comments actually, what is your goal? What is your main goal right now?